um, even though nobody made me, I just Aunque felt the Lord me dijo esto, me hizo esto, put it in my heart en mi corazón, to allow some people in the church to just minister and give us the word in the month of February. And I thank God for that because a lot of things were said into our hearts, into my heart that I don't know that I would have known them if I was the one that shared the messages. But that does not take away from the fact that I really realized that I missed ministering and preaching to you all. Amen? So, but I thank God because I felt God was testing me and I believe I passed the test. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is not my, this is not mine. I cannot no I cannot puedo, hold on to it. No if God lays it on my heart that this person has a word Dios for this church, este, este I must allow that to happen. In Jesus' precious esto, name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I'm excited bueno, to bring this word to you. I think it's so great that we have spring is coming close now. Ya se está la and primavera. with spring, you start to see en la a ver budding. You start to see trees, plants. Plantas, There is a plant in my house. It's Hay already showing purple color. And I'm liking that. So, You can see Así fruits will start to sprout very soon. And the Lord laid it on our hearts by the Holy Spirit. That this month we need to talk about bearing fruits. May you bear fruits in Jesus' name. Amen. May your life bear fruits, good fruits, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I want to share with us this morning, being productive. Being productive. If you go with me to John 15. I'm going to read the first 16 verses. I'm going to read the first 16 verses. John 15, and I'm going to read the first 16 verses. Hallelujah. It says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. Verse 9. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, 
than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. 16. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yo soy la vid verdadera y mi Padre es el labrador. Todo pámpano que en mí no lleva fruto lo quitará, y todo aquel que lleva fruto lo limpiará para que lleve más fruto. Ya vosotros estáis limpios por la palabra que os he hablado. Permaneced en mí y yo en vosotros. Como el pámpano no puede llevar fruto por sí mismo si no permanece en la vid, así tampoco vosotros si no permanecéis en mí. Yo soy la vid, vosotros los pámpanos. El que permanece en mí y yo en él, este lleva mucho fruto porque separados de mí nada podéis hacer. El que en mí no permanece será echado fuera como pámpano y se secará. Y lo recogen y los echan en el fuego y arden. Si permanecéis en mí y mis palabras permanecen en vosotros, pedí todo lo que os queréis y os será hecho. En esto es glorificado mi Padre en que llevéis mucho fruto y que seáis así mis discípulos. Como el Padre me ha amado, así también yo os he amado. Permaneced en mi amor. Si guardareis mis mandamientos, permaneceréis en mi amor. Así como yo he guardado los mandamientos de mi Padre y permanezco en su amor. Estas cosas os he hablado para que en mi gozo esté en vosotros y vuestro gozo sea cumplido. Este es mi mandamiento, que os améis unos a otros como yo os he amado. Nadie tiene mayor amor que este, que uno ponga su vida por sus amigos. Vosotros sois mis amigos y hacéis lo que yo os mando. Ya no os llamaré siervos, porque el siervo no sabe lo que hace su Señor. Pero os he llamado amigos, porque todas las cosas que oí de mi Padre, os las he dado a conocer. No me elegisteis vosotros a mí, sino que yo os elegí a vosotros, y os he puesto para que vayáis y llevas fruto, y vuestro fruto permanezca, para que todo lo que pidierais al Padre en mi nombre, Él os lo dé. Amén. Aleluya. Amén. I will start from Luke 13, 13, verse 6 to 9, verse 6 al 9 that we read this morning during our call to worship. In that place, we read about this parable. And in this parable, this man went. He went and looked at a fig tree that he had planted. He had so many things planted there. But he's talking about this fig tree in that vineyard. And he was looking for fruit on that fig tree. And he did not find. Y no halló alguno. And he said y él dijo, to the person that was tending the gardener, the per jardín, person tending the garden, he said, le dijo, this fig tree I planted, esta higuera que he plantado, take it out. It's just taking space. Arráncala, solo está Remove it. Espacio, this is a parable, esta es una parable about our Lord. Acerca de nuestro Señor. That God goes de que Dios va to check if we have fruit. Si fruto. God expects Dios our lives que nuestra vida to have fruit. Tenga fruto. God expects fruit from our lives. En nuestra vida. God goes to check Dios if that tree that he si planted que, o, pla is bearing fruit. My brothers and my sisters, I want to tell you that God has invested so much in you. If you don't know that, he has invested his most precious property, if I may use that word, his son, the best of all he has for you. He wants you to be fruitful. Y él que tú seas he expects you to be fruitful. Él que tú Are you showing fruit at work? En el Are you showing fruit at home? En el hogar? In your church? En la Among your acquaintances? Entre tus, eh, los que te God's plan and desire Dios ha y is that our Christian lives que si vida 
for example our church ejemplo, en la iglesia, and our school y en la escuela, ok Tio Lua Tiano Dios. Faith Aleluya. Vanessa Precioso. our jobs nuestros trabajos si está Rosa Dios, si está Aleluya. Estela Brother Cruz Walk hand in hand. Trabajamos mano con mano. Not one outside of the other. No separados, no por separado. Of course, claro, when the Bible talk of, talks of the fruits, habla de los frutos, of bearing fruits, de dar frutos, there is more emphasis on spiritual fruits. En los frutos espirituales. But of course, the Pero Bible claro, also la Biblia también wants us to bear physical fruits. Frutos materiales. Important Importante to know that fruits are not the gifts of the Spirit. No I want to emphasize that. Esto. Gifts of the Spirit are exactly what they are called, gifts. Así, Those dones. are gifts. And God decides to give Papa Lino these gifts. Un don a cada uno Gift en particular, of como él quiere. administration. El don de la administración como ejemplo. And then God may decide to give Sister Sylvia the gift of prophecy. That's a gift. I'm not talking about gifts of the Spirit. I just want to emphasize that. Amen. Amen. You don't really do much about those. You don't. It is the gift of God, so that no man should boast. Ser orgulloso de ello. But Pero what I am talking about this month 